Today, we're going to be talking about how to deploy and monitor scalable services in Kubernetes using AppDynamics. We're going to be showcasing some forward-looking material and roadmap information today, and we appreciate that you read the Safe Harbor slide here prior to us moving forward with the presentation. Let's dive in. Now, we know that there are several challenges of deploying workloads using Kubernetes and container orchestration today. The four key challenges that we've highlighted here, based on a 451 research study conducted in 2020 on Kubernetes and container deployments include, number one, Kubernetes vendor choice. Now, there are a plethora of options available in the market today to enable you to deploy your workloads on the cloud and using container services. Number two is app migration. Do you need to refactor legacy apps into microservices or move them as is? And which apps should you move? Number three, end-to-end -end visibility is our key concern, followed by monitoring vendor choice, including commercial and open source. And the fourth key challenge is how to measure success and failures, before and after from a technology perspective and before and after from a business perspective. Now, when we look at the AppDynamics cluster agent, the cluster agent was introduced about a year ago and it works across all Kubernetes distributions. Some of the key use cases of the cluster agent include application migration, capacity planning, and mapping app performance on Kubernetes to business outcomes, which is a key differentiator that AppDynamics and Cisco offer. Key product features include real-time visibility into Kubernetes clusters, correlating cluster metrics with application performance, and the including all container runtime supported. So you can see a graphic on your screen now of the cluster agent and what it looks like, errors, issues, utilization, et cetera. It's a really robust product that's available to you right now. Now, drilling further into the cluster agent, we then get to event and pod drill downs for deeper visibility. You know, this capability really ensures that you're able to troubleshoot your pod events and filter events and pod lists appropriately. It allows you to click on specific clusters and see the list of errors in order to find the root cause of a problem associated with a specific set of containers. And it allows you to filter your Kubernetes events on status type and name to focus on diagnosing specific classes of issues. Now, moving forward, we've also introduced the auto instrumentation of APM. The Kubernetes cluster agent is now driving APM instrumentation across your agent types, whether that's Java, .NET, Node.js, etc. The container namespace and labels are now automatically instrumented with APM. So this is a very powerful capability that we now offer all of our customers. And really, you're able to use your Kubernetes resource management for APM instrumentation from the one you use for monitoring itself. So really powerful. Next, I want to talk about what we're introducing in our full observability platform going forward. Number one, we're going to be introducing Kubernetes scalability and performance improvement. With the additional scale and performance that our cluster agent is now able to partake, we're able to really handle increased scalability, providing the health of all elements of your cluster. And we're able to drill down into Kubernetes data and metadata to provide multi-dimensional representations of your Kubernetes cluster. Next, we're really excited to provide additional visibility into your container name, ID, and stateful sets in events and inventory. So we can see that now we're able to provide complete visibility into your containers and pods. Number one, you're able to visualize what container and event applies so that you can triage lo the location of the problem in the cluster. And number two, you can observe stateful sets on your cluster so you know which are persistent items that are unavailable in a standard Kubernetes error state. So now that we've gone through what the Kubernetes cluster agent offers you today and what's coming out next, I wanna give you a broader look at our roadmap over the next 12 months. We're going to be working on log snippets, which is going to enable you to now plug in your log monitoring option into our cluster agent. And then we're able to then continue to expand our support of large number of pods, upwards of thousands of pods that you're deploying in your environment. We have our new cloud native visualization uh, UX, in which you're now able to correlate APM and Kubernetes, your namespaces and tags. And we're working on open telemetry efforts alongside Kubernetes including CICD, um, releasing additional insights, and service mesh. So we really appreciate your time and listening in today. Please let us know if you have any questions and feedback. You can reach us on our website and the support, and then we'll be able to route it to the appropriate contact specifically focused on Kubernetes and our cluster.